Baltimore Magnet Academy scholars. Dr. Sal is here. Oh my gosh, is it Friday? Yes, it is Friday. Another week in the books. What does that mean? Well, we are almost down to just 10 weeks left of school. That's right, 50 days. 50 days in our 180 day calendar. I want to um, just recognize this quote, a little progress each day adds up to big results. So just a couple of reminders and announcements. Field trips, field trips are back, thank goodness. You are going to places that, like the La Brea Tar Pits, Crystal Cove, the Duck Stadium, so many amazing places. But I wanna remind everyone that this is an extension of school. So that means that school rules apply, including the use of cell phones. I wanna make sure that you have a wonderful time and that you enjoy this experience. That's what being in school is all about, is great experiences and learning. But I also wanna let you know that our school rules are non-negotiable when you are outside representing SMA. If need be, we are prepared to call your parents to pick you up from wherever you are at if you are not following school rules. If your parent cannot pick you up, Dr. Salas will be on her way to remove you from the field trip. So please, I don't want that to happen, but I want to let you know that it will happen if you are not representing SMA when you are off campus. Promotion, eighth grade scholars, remember the deal. I don't want you to say, I didn't know, no one didn't tell me, it can't be true. If you have more, do, do not have a 2.0 GPA and I believe four Fs, you will not be going to our um, week events and you're not gonna be attending the promotion. So anyone suspended that last month anyone on an attendance contract, anyone that has more Fs than any other grade, I just don't understand why you would even think you could be part of a ceremony that celebrates success. So here's, a, here's something, don't get straight Fs. Come to school and don't get suspended. And it's gonna be a rockin' party. I'm looking into some confetti right now. So I promise that it's gonna be a great time for those of you who deserve to go to promotion. Testing, testing is coming up. All right, CASP testing. You are more than a number, and we know that sometimes testing doesn't reflect what you know. But here's what I'm asking. Just really try your best. Those numbers, and I'll show you some scores in the next couple of videos, those numbers determine what classes you have next year. If you don't want ELD, you need to show us that you don't need ELD. If you don't want to have remedial math, you need to show us you don't need remedial math. If you don't want to have um, a, a not so fun class instead of an elective when you go to high school, you need to show it in those test scores. So please, I just ask that you try your best and take it seriously. And last, cutting in line. Look, when you're an adult, you have to wait in line. And when you're a child, you have to wait in line. When you're in the grocery store, you wait in line. When you're getting gas, you have to wait in line. When you are in a department store or going to get your uh, sweats or your sweatshirt, you have to wait in line. Why is it any different here? That is completely disrespectful, and I need you to all be one behind the other. No more greeting your friends and telling Dr. Salas, I'm just saying hello. That's not true. You're trying to cut in line. So everybody has the right to get lunch or get snack. We're not going to run out of food. You need to get in line and stay in your line like everybody else. Okay, it is, an, it is against the rules to cut in line, not just at SMA, but in life. So stop being a bully and go to the, your line where you belong. Do not cut in front of others. If I see you cutting in front of others, you're not gonna be able to go through the snack line. And I will call your parents and let them know why. 
Do not cut in line. That's it. Make it a great Friday. I will see you next week. 50 days left. Pause up, everybody. Good morning, all. Today is Friday, March 3rd, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's fun fact is what speed is required to leave Earth? The answer is a spacecraft leaving the surface of Earth, for example, needs to be going about 7 miles per second or over 25,000 miles per hour to enter orbit. Achieving escape is one of the biggest challenges in facing space travel. Lunch menu for TK through 5 will be teriyaki beef dippers with um, vegetable fried rice and extreme bean and cheese burrito. The six day lunch menu is spicy chicken burger, extreme bean and cheese burrito, and California cob salad. Uh, students, please remember that school safety is very important. If you see something, say something. Have a great day. Well, Good morning, students. Today, we will be talking about how to make an appointment with your SMA counselor on the middle school side. So my name is Ms. Davila. I'm one of your middle school counselors. I support students with last names A through L. And I'm Mrs. Irfano, and I support students whose last names are M through Z. So how do school counselors help students? One area that they support students in is academics, so academic achievement. So this can look like helping you create goals, help you track your progress on your short-term or long-term goals, also support you with teaching you study skills. So for example, how to manage your time, how to get organized, how to advocate for yourself. And also we support with individual student planning. Another area that we support students is um, in the area of social emotional. So I know each of you do the PBIS check-ins daily. Um, we check that. And then also we meet with students individually and in small groups. Um, we've already started a Mindful Monday group and we'll be doing a few more groups um, for the remainder of the year. So stay tuned. Um, and then lastly, doing classroom lessons. And we also help you with college and career. So for a lot of you eighth graders, you'll probably heard a lot from us on um, just preparing for high school, also helping you get connected to different resources um, once you go to high school as well. And also we'll be starting up a college and career workshop. So how do you make an appointment? This is really important because we want to make sure that we follow this process so that we can support all students. So the first step is that you're going to scan the QR code. Um, once you scan it, it's going to take you to the counselor request Google form. It's really short, uh, so it's going to be quick and easy for you to fill out. Um, after you fill out the form, it will only go to the counselors on campus. We will then look at it and then make an appointment with you and we will call your teacher for you to report to the counseling center. So this is important again. Uh, we're gonna make an appointment with you and we're gonna call your classroom and ask your teacher to report to the counseling center. And lastly, we really wanted to emphasize um, just letting know just letting a trusted adult know on campus if it's a crisis. So by crisis, we mean um, if you are hurting yourself, if someone is hurting you, or if you know of someone else in danger. So where can you find this QR code? You can find it on your Schoology page. Um, we posted it on there for you to access through your iPad. You can also find them throughout campus, in your classrooms, in the main office, and also here in the counseling center. So again, you do need to make an appointment with your counselor. However, if you have thoughts of harming yourself or know of someone else in danger, please let your trusted adult know. So this could be a teacher, campus supervisor, office staff, or one of us, so that we could meet with you as soon as possible. And if you have any questions about this new process, you're welcome to 
and by the counseling center before or after school during your nutrition or lunch. Thank, Thank you. you.